of it. So you're getting older, you're bolder, and you want to sail the seven seas. The ocean is your oyster, and you're wondering what type of sailboat should you be looking for? Well, today, let me point out some amenities and features on the modern sailboats that I believe, as we get older, you should make a priority. First up, we have the dual helm. Now this falls under the category, in my opinion, of an absolute must as we get older. We are no longer 20 year old kids on a jungle gym, and that's what a lot of the single cockpits are. So we need to go for the dual helm. This gives us far more room in our cockpit in turn, making it much safer for us as we get older. We are not as nimble as we once were, and the less things we have to trip over when we're helming our vessel, the better. We have to have that freedom of movement as well as the ease of sailing the boat. Another addition to the dual helms is your visibility. You have far greater visibility with a dual helm than you do with a single helm, as you can easily go from port to starboard while sailing depending on the conditions and what your sailing needs are going to be throughout your sailing adventures. Next up, we need to go for a swim platform. Now, this climbing in and out of canoe stern vessels is absolutely ridiculous, even if you're in your 20s. But as we get older, it just makes no sense and it's downright dangerous. We need a large aft swim platform. This way, we have far easier access, not only on and off of the dock, but also into and out of our dinghy. Things are much, much easier easier to load and unload on the vessel. In my opinion, once you're over 50 is an absolute must. We're not going to be climbing jungle gyms just to get into our vessel. Everything needs to be set up for comfort and ease of use if we're going to be full-time sailing as we get older. So a large swim platform is an absolute must, preferably electric as we just hit a button, hop on our vessel and then hop off. But I get it, those can be a little bit expensive. So at minimum, go for a very nice swim platform on your vessel as you get older and you're looking for a more comfortable sail. Up next, the companionway of our sailboat. Now, I'm not sure how many sailboats you've been on, but I've been on hundreds. And some of these companionways, you might as well just put on a pair of skis and hope for the best, as they are so steep, it's basically absurd. Now, we wanna look for a companionway staircase that is no greater than 45 degrees. Now, 45 degrees is steep as it is, but these sailboat manufacturers seem to have convinced themselves that 45 degrees is the way to go. So we want to get nothing greater than 45 degrees. We do not want to be tripping and falling on our way down to the salon of our sailboat. So pay very, very close attention to, in basic terms, the steepness of the staircase leading to your salon. Go for something with 45 degrees or less, and your life is going to be much, much better. The last thing we need is to take a header down the stairs, break a hip, and then we're done for. So 45 degrees or less less on the companion way. Up next and moving right along, we wanna get ourselves a very nice and efficient water maker. Getting a water maker on your vessel is incredibly important. As we're sailing throughout different islands, crossing oceans and coming into different ports, we're not gonna know the quality of our water first of all, but secondly, having to get into and out of your dinghy every couple days and lug back five gallon jugs of water is ridiculous, especially as we get older. It's absurd if you're young. So go ahead, stick a very nice water maker on your vessel if you're older and gonna be sailing full time. This will stop the need to be running back and forth to the marina every couple days and refilling all of your portable water. 
Now, an ice water maker is going to run you somewhere in the neighborhood of $2,500 to $3,000. So, yes, they are expensive. However, if you just start to calculate the amount of gas you spend running the dinghy back and forth to the marina every couple of days, you're going to see that buying one is going to be far more cost effective in the long run and in turn will actually be saving you money over time. Invest in a very nice water maker from the start and just call it a day. When it comes to the actual sailing of your vessel, we need to be looking at other features that are going to make it easier on us in the long run. And one of the best things that you can invest in is get yourself electric winches on your vessel. Now, you don't always have to be running them as electric, but the ability to just do some push button reefing if you need to or some wenching will set you up for long-term success. Our body takes enough abuse as we age anyway, and we don't need to be adding to this by reefing on lines and straining ourselves every single time. We want to do a little bit of island hopping. So invest in electric winches if you can. I understand they are very expensive, but in the long run, this is going to make your life a heck of a lot more comfortable and your sailing much easier. Electric winches are very, very nice to have on your sailing vessel. Up next, in-mast furlers. Now, if you combine an in-mast furler with some electric winches, at this point, you're basically push button sailing. Now, remember, we're not out here to impress anybody. We're out here to enjoy our life and sail where we would like to sail. There's no reason for sailing to be this giant nightmare that you see on a lot of these silly sailing channels on YouTube. So combine yourself some electric winches with a very nice in-mast furler and bingo, bango, bongo, we are push button sailing hypothetically or basically so keep that in mind try to get yourself a nice sailboat with the in-mast furler if you don't want to pair it with some electric winches that's fine but do one or the other if possible it's going to make your sailing life much much easier in the long run now, these are just a couple of the things that I think are incredibly important as we get older and we're going to be sailing. Now, if you do need help getting on the water sooner than later and kind of narrowing down your vessel choices, head on over to my website at chasinglatitudes.com and sign up for a consulting package. There are numerous packages to choose from. Then we can start chatting one on one and kind of set up your path to successful sailing in the future. And if you do like the videos, give a thumbs up down below hit like turn on that notification and considering heading on over to patreon and supporting the channel it really really helps me continue to pump out as many videos i do and i appreciate each and every one of you so thank you all so much and i will see you on the next video